Hey everyone, Rack Brown here. Quick update on the diesel project. As you can see, it doesn't look much different, but a lot of things have happened. As you can see, there's a uh, new switch on my dash where my uh, mower, or sorry, my PTO engagement and disengagement used to be. Go around this side. My uh, blinking light is no longer on its magnet up underneath. It's on its own extension cord. Also, on this side, I got a little power on light. Uh, there was a knockout there. I believe that would have been for the, uh, if this tractor had an electric raise and lower for the deck. So I do believe that's what that was. Yeah, attachment lift. Also, there's a switch right here. This is actually a constant power switch. This is the new switch for my blinking light. My rear tail light is now linked in with my headlights. It's no longer a uh, lighted switch, as you can see. The uh, low plugs do work. One second here. As you can see, it cranks. The clutch safety is open, so I got to uh, replace that switch. I do want to get that done eventually. Um, actually, I can quickly demonstrate my glow plugs. See, my glow plug came on and went a huge drain on my battery. Here is my glow plug wire. This wire, so as of right now, seems to be okay. Uh, see if I can pull the slack up on it. It's kind of tight. Anyways, I'll do that later. Um, so this thing is just about ready to go. I uh, also changed the oil in the transaxle. It was pretty black. It uh, was probably original. I'm actually thinking it was original because the uh, drain plug down there by the muffler, or sorry, by my exhaust pipe, was next to impossible to take off. Also, to fill it up, you gotta use this tiny opening here. So I just removed my uh, shifter and I filled it through my shifter. There's no really uh, information on how much to put in these. So I actually filled it up to the input shaft. So that's how much I put in there. If uh, I did it wrong, uh, if anyone knows exactly how much to put in there, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, I've done modifications to the gas tank. Quick up, quick shout out to Emily Loves Her Dogs and Shania. We're about to go for a walk, so. As you can see, there's a uh, weight set here. This is 80 pounds, uh, 40 pounds per side. This is going to go on the back, up underneath. I'll show you in a second. Here is the gas tank. It is full of water and antifreeze. I got, the, I got a shut off, and then I have a screw in the end of the line. So if the shut off fails, it won't drain it out. The gas tank, it's obviously going back in the stock spot. Uh, the barbells are going to be mounted right up in here on my little triangular frame I built last summer. Um, I'm going to put two weights in the middle and one weight on the outside. The smaller one, I believe, is a 15 pound. I'm not sure. Uh, it's going to go on the outside, and the two big guys are going to go on the inside. And that's the main reason why I had to uh, move my light. But with my toolbox here, the light will be able to go right on top. Also, I'm starting to have some problems with the light here. The wires are starting to fray right down in there. So by having it on an extension cord, it'll be a lot better. Also, it is disconnectable. There is a uh, link right here where this tape line is. So it's right here just before there where you can unplug it and you can take it off there if need be. So I just tidied up some of the wiring I did in the back. All that's good and ready to go. Uh, that switch, that light there obviously turns off on and off with the key. I'm still having an issue with this ignition. Uh, right from the get-go, right when I got this tractor, I had this issue with this ignition um, where it always was loose. So I'm still having that problem. I know when I first bought this tractor, I was going to uh, put my uh, redneck ignition in. And I was going to use that spot right there to shut it off, but that was with the gas engine. Obviously, with the diesel, I do not, I do not need that anymore. So we'll see. I just thinking here, looking at it, I'm going to try and put this switch in where the choke used to be, right here on this side. Then it keeps the switches separate from each other, and um, this switch here is a constant feed. It always has power. So, and the uh, tail light only comes on when the headlights are on. So I may or may not do that. It saves me drilling a hole in the dash. But I do need to drill four little holes. Just to give this a little bit of strength to mount it in. It's got a 20 amp fuse on it. 
the rear blinking light also has a 20 amp fuse and the tractor has its original fuse with uh, I believe it's a 15 or 20 amp that's controlling the, um, the lights and also that technically also controls the glow plugs as well um, it's just double fuse so if this actually if this goes to ground or anything that happens there it's going to pop that fuse and it's not going to pop the main fuse so I can still get the engine going and um, I don't have to worry about a fuse so that's pretty much it on this driving video will most likely be next week um, I could take it out shortly it will only take about uh, 20 minutes to get everything put back together but uh, I don't feel like driving it tonight but um, it's pretty much ready to go. I have drove it back and forth just past where Emily's sitting up to the fence line there and back. And it's worked perfectly fine. So, but with the new oil and the transmission, I'm more happier to drive this more. Um, I think it was low on oil. I believe it did not have as much as it needs to have in it. So that's the main reason why I did change the oil. Also, it was very black. But um, that's pretty much it. Shut off my key so I don't drain my battery. So, stay tuned for the official driving video, most likely next week, and the conclusion of this project. It'll be, it will be finished. Um, the tra actual tractor portion, if the diesel, will be completely finished. Then I just got to do some modifications on my plow, which is very easy. Also, I might run uh, smaller front tires for the uh, snow plow. Um, got ones that are down about uh, right there, so... This is a bit smaller. The plow will be closer to the ground. It may or may not work out better. We'll see. So, I will talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always. And uh, like always, please check out Emily Hill's world and Emily Loves Her Dogs. And Shania obviously has quite a few videos on there. So, bye for now.